Uh, it mentions about the leopard, right? So because it's talking about the leopard, a leopard will have these spots on him. And they are like black spots. Now, as Dr. Upman once said, here is one of the fundamentals of the faith that we're going to get into, the black spot. He says that with jest. Here comes some deep doctrine. Ready? All right, Jude. Let's look at Jude. Black spot. Now, the Bible says the beast, but what? I don't think people really pay attention to the word. The what? Mark of the beast. See, people automatically think 666 or a computer chip or etc. Now, that's true. It can, the mark can come out in different forms. But look at the wording. Look at the wording of your King James Bible. Mark of the beast. Who's the beast? The main body is a what? Leopard. What is a leopard's mark? See that? There you go. See that? So that's what people aren't really paying attention to. Now look how this is throughout all your Bible about this black spot. This is pretty wild stuff, all right? I'm not going to get really deep into this, but I'm going to show you some bits of that. All right. Let's look at the book of Jude. Now Jude, for some of you who don't know, it is a tribulation epistle. It's talking about tribulation, future, and times. Notice what Jesus warns about this. Jude 1.23, about the tribulation timeline. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire. See, saving them from hell, why? Hating even the what? Garment spotted by the flesh. There's something about the spot that's damnable to a tribulation saint. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's look at some other passages. We're going to look at the Christian church. The Christian church is even warned about it. Look at Ephesians 5. Ephesians chapter 5. It's going to get wild, man. It's going to get wild. The people who are going to throw a fit about this are people who are not into deep doctrine as Bible believers. What do I mean by that? This is where they throw a fit and they're going to say, oh, Pastor Kim is crazy, blah, 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 teaching heresy because this is one of their favorite scenes they would like to cut and paste to show that Pastor Kim is teaching heresy. You know why they like to do that? Because they like to take away the gold in learning. So in order to take away the golden learning, you just take the crazy deep stuff so that the audience can take it as crazy and deep. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's totally dishonest. It's wickedness. All right, let's look at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 27. That he might present it to himself. Jesus wants to present himself a glorious church, not having what? Spot or what? Wrinkle, because the garment's spotted by the flesh. See that? All right, Jude... One, let me read this one. You don't have to turn there. If you want to, you can go ahead. Jude one twelve. Notice that as it lists these sinners at verse 11, the way of Cain, heir of Balaam, Cain saying of Korah. These people who follow this during the tribulation are known as what at verse 12? These are spots. These are spots. These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water. Carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. How about that? See? So notice right here that these uh, people during the tribulation timeline, God really puts spots on them. Why? Because they take the spot, the mark, from the Antichrist. That's the reason why. Now, Another interesting thing, I do not have the passage for this one. If somebody else has it, they can say it if they want to. But the Bible interestingly says something about the leopard spot in this manner. It actually says, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Now, isn't that? Yes, sir. Jeremiah 13, Okay, thank you. Now, notice that number, what? 13 again, right? So Jeremiah chapter 13, <clears throat> and then we'll look at verse 23. Look at your Bible. Why in the world, I mean, use your hand now. Why in the world would the Bible 
used an Ethiopian eunuch skin color with the spot of a leopard. See, this supports what I proposed earlier about three racial colors which matches up in America for the leopard. All right. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So notice right here, it's so interesting. Why would the Bible put the leopard spot with the skin color of the Ethiopian union, uh, eunuch, the black skin color? You want me to tell you something else that's interesting? If you look at uh, black spots, what's also known as the spot. X marks the spot. How about that, right? You want me to tell you something even more than that? You know who's the one, who are three animals that makes this X mark, so to speak, on trees? Boom, boom, boom. That's right. That's interesting. Boom, boom, boom. Some game hunters claim that these three animals would be the ones who would make, who would make their mark on a tree. You know who trees are likened to in the Bible? Ah, oh, men. Men are likened to trees in the Bible. Now, if you doubt me like a tree full of owls, go look at your Bible. Type down men, tree, or just look up every word that says tree in the Bible. And then you'll see that. Interesting, Jesus Christ was healing this blind man, but he didn't heal him immediately. He let him see men as trees walking. Something that has to do with darkness, blackness. Whoo, we can go deeper into that. Not only that, X marks the spot. So did you study everything that ends in X? The, the Roman Catholic language, the official Roman Catholic language is Latin. Look at all their words that end in X. And it all has Roman Catholic wordings. As uh, one preacher said, Dr. Upman words it this way, which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, he words it this way. He mentions over here, well, actually, I do have some verses that you can write down if you want about men as trees. I'll mention that first. So if you want to write these verses down, Psalms chapter 92, verses 12 through 14. Okay, I'll write them down because I don't have time. Psalms 92, verses 12 through 14. The second one will be Psalms chapter 37, verse 35. The last one will be Mark chapter 8, verses 23 through 24. All right, so these are the three passages that you can look up about men being like trees. Men likened to trees. And the wicked people, how they want to damage these trees. Put a mark on the trees. Okay, anyways, now... Let's close our Bible study with the X, the wonderful word of X. It says right here, all leopards are marked with black spots unless they are solid black, in which case they are panthers. Beware of a black cat. Did you ever notice a cat holics? Catholics. And their black clothes. The mark of the beast in the passage is a black spot, hence stakes. The Latin word for black ends in X. The word for cat in Latin is Felix, which ends in X. A Styx Felix is a black cat. Those who receive his mark write X, and they are cursed with a pox. The rider of the white horse in Revelation 6, the bowman, right? Bowman, may, I've taught you this before, made the sign of the crux, and he came peaceably, the Latin word for peace being pax. Hence, here in Revelation 13, he speaks with the voice of God, vox. You should study words that end in X. This white horse rider is a king, Rex, who is a hoax, and his number is six. The Greek for six being hex. How about that? Woo! Woo! You're crazy, man. Man, how about that? That book, man, it can blow up your mind. Amen. Blow up your mind. What a book, man. 
What a bug. All right, so I didn't talk about the false prophet and some other interesting things about the mark. We'll come to that next, uh, by next revelation study, all right? All right, I think you learned enough for today anyways.